So the Games Workshop YouTube channel is getting a little bit of negative attention on Twitter today, specifically after a tweet from the Goober Town Hobbies account. For those who don't know, Goober Town Hobbies is a large miniature games creator who focuses on hobby stuff and painting tutorials, and is one of the largest creators in the industry on the YouTube platform. This little controversy is specifically surrounding a bunch of new painting tutorials that the Warhammer channel just recently posted. The criticism from Goober Town is that none of the cast or crew of these painting tutorials were properly credited in the videos. The person credited as creating these videos by Goober Town is M. Rob who is self-described as the Warhammer TV painting presenter. So it would stand to reason that they're the one behind the camera here. Now, whether or not presenters behind the camera are credited on the YouTube platform from organizations like Games Workshop seems to be a little bit of a mixed bag. I went through some similar presentations and when there was a presenter narrating a video, they were rarely credited. Now, I think the gray area here is that these videos are creative in nature and that there is a creative component to them, even though in totality, they are mostly just a tutorial. Because the presenter is using their hands to showcase a creative talent, I think that there is more cause to credit them than would be if they were just reading a script to present an already existent concept. The Goobertown tweet also accuses Games Workshop of purposely cropping out M's face during the filming of these videos. For most of these videos, they are filmed in a first person point of view, so there is no need to crop out the face, except for the spray paints video, in which case I do agree, there is some very suspect cropping and keyframing. Seriously, what is going on here? I'm getting seasick watching this video. I don't know if it's a huge deal, but once pointed out, it does make the video look a little strange. Now, obviously giving full credit to creators would be dramatically preferred, but there are a couple justifications why Games Workshop would not want their presenters to be front and center on their public facing channel. In the past, they have built up content presenters and then having those content presenters leave the show can be a pretty bad deal and leave a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. There are also the cases where creators who are affiliated with Games Workshop proper are attacked by the community, which is, pretty shitty, so, uh, you know, just don't do that. But that hasn't stopped Games Workshop from putting presenters front and center on their paid content. Warhammer TV, for example, does have a lot of familiar faces on the team, but again, that's behind a paywall and less subject to public scrutiny. Ultimately, it's impossible to say whether this was deliberate by Games Workshop, whether for an altruistic reason or more self-preservation, or it's just sort of par for the course in the industry, and a lot of these faceless presenters, unfortunately, don't get the recognition they deserve in their video credits.